Hello, everybody. Oh, look who's in the picture. That's my little kitten. My little sweetheart. We had two of them. And uh, one of them passed away, unfortunately, last month. And, uh, but this one remains. And she sleeps with me every night. So I'm just going to say hello to everybody to see how everyone's doing. I've actually, I don't think I've ever done a live before. So I just thought I'd try it out. <clears throat> see who's out there. Hola, hola, muy, ah, I see you every day. Te veo todos los días. <laughs> El doctor flautista, see. Sí. Uh, hello, Terry Flute is online. Hello, Dr. Sanchez. Uh, who else? Let's see. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I just thought I would say hello and to see how we're all doing here in quarantine. I'm here in beautiful, sunny California. And I've been, you know, I, I just always know how to keep myself busy. So I, oh, Alice K. Dade. Hello, Morgan Pappas. Trying to request what works. You know, I've never done this, so I don't know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, okay. I tried to bring you on, Morgan, but I, I didn't. Oh, uh, there, let's see here. Okay, go. Here we go. Morgan Pappas. You know, I don't know if you all are aware that uh, the flu view, flute view. How many Hello. Of you know Hello <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm well. How are you doing? Where are you? Good. I'm sitting outside getting some uh, vitamin D, some sunshine Good. today, drinking Good. your famous green smoothie recipe. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, awesome. yes Viviana makes these. And there's it's just spinach, banana, some peanut butter, almond milk, and some ice. Really simple. So you know delicious. What you, do? you can add a little cinnamon. Oh my god. Oh. Just, it, it takes it to another level. <laughs> I'll have to try that. I'll definitely yeah, have to try that. But yeah, this is a good way to keep your immune system going yeah. strong. So I thought I would come online and just see, <clears throat> check in with people. Um, and first of all, introduce you to the, the, the world that you are our new <laughs> Flute View team member. Uh, yes. <laughs> when did you start? I don't remember. When did you start? Oh, well, let's see. I took an editorial role, I guess, in like December. So it's just been a few months now. But before that, it's been, I was started the social media in November of last year. So it's been about like a year and a half now with the flute view. Right, right. Well, yeah. we are so happy to have you on board. And last year, oh. you, even, you even came out and represented Flute Center of New York. Uh, you came out uh, to Flutes by the Sea Masterclass. Yes. And it was lovely to have you out there. And that's when you learned about my green smoothie. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, I and actually... I actually gave that same green smoothie, I think, to Fluter, too, and she was going to try to make it into one of her special ice creams at one point. <laughs> but anyway, looks like, looks like, what, are you off? I can still hear you. Oops, she jumped off. Um, so one of the things that I have been doing during my time in quarantine, I've been taking advantage. Who else has been taking advantage of all the amazing online resources that we have? Oh my goodness. Here is Morgan again. <laughs> um, I've been, let's see, I took a Russian class. I took an art class. I took a belly dance class. I took a meditation class. So here's Morgan again. Hi, sorry. <laughs> so how has the quarantine been for you? The beginning of the quarantine. Um, I had been tested for the virus, um, and I should have my results soon. But in New York, I mean, it's everywhere. In my neighborhood in particular, it was hit very hard by this um, starting like the first and second week of March, we had a lot of cases in my like one mile radius. Um, so I immediately reacted and limited my, um, you know, social 
hospitalization and I just immediately went into quarantine because I was like, I, first of all, I don't want to get sick. And more importantly, I don't want to pass it on to anyone, um, especially my parents who are older and I'm very concerned about them and their health. And so it's been scary. Um, I've just been trying to stay healthy. Um, I got really sick and immediately, you know, took precautions to protect myself and started, you know, antibiotics and went to a doctor and stayed in isolation and didn't go out or didn't see my friends, didn't see family, just stayed really at home as much as possible. And I think that's the only thing you can do. And um, New York is hit really hard right now. I could go on and on and probably would start crying because it's really hard to watch friends and family, you know, suffer from this. I mean, the whole world, it's not just New York, but um, stay home, just stay home, protect your yourself and your family and your friends and everyone else in your community. It's the only thing you can do. Um, yeah, and stay healthy, you know, take care of yourself. I feel like a lot of people um, jumped into this quarantine situation with a million projects to tackle, you know, and I think that's great. I love seeing the positivity and um, the resourcefulness of musicians and artists, yes. <laughs> but, you know, also take time to process what's happening and spend time with the people you love. Not be jumping into a million projects. It's okay to sort of take this time to really reflect on what's important to you and to keep yourself healthy and mentally healthy. Um, sorry, I'm rambling. <laughs> I could go on and on about no, this. No, what but... I loved were the, the tips that I saw in your stories. I think yeah. it was yesterday. Um, <laughs> yeah. a, a lot of which I already do anyway, because you know, as a traveling flutist, and I've always made my money that way, I could not get sick. And so yeah. the minute I felt that tickle in the throat, I would just drown it out with hot tea, you know? Yeah. I, I'm a huge tea drinker anyway, but, um, and then I would put myself to bed. And that, I mean, I literally, I never get sick as a result of that. So go over, and I know that your, your father is an MD. And so go over yeah. that list just so that everyone, you know, just remembers what to do. Sure. So, um, and these are, you know, tips outside of everything that what people are talking about, washing your hands, isolate. Um, but some of the other things that I found interesting were drinking hot liquids as much as possible because it actually washes bacteria down into your stomach where the digestive juices will kill off the virus um, and prevents it from going into your lungs. So drinking a lot of hot fluids like... Um, hot water, coffee, teas, soups, but also hot foods will help with that too. So avoid really cold foods, um, lots of fruits and vegetables to get your vitamin C levels up and, you know, get some sunshine, vitamin D, lots of zinc. If you have some zinc tablets, take that. Um, also, what else? Um, oh, if you're, especially if you live in a um, city area when after you go grocery shopping or you're on the streets or you know even just taking garbage out to your sidewalk go inside remove your clothes put them in the wash machine and take a shower um, because the virus actually attaches to fabric very easily and uh, it's very easy to actually transport the virus I mean, you're just spreading it. So stay home. Even if you have just a little sore throat and you think it's allergies, I mean, that's how it started for me. It can escalate and it can get bad really fast. So just stay home and protect yourself and everyone else. Um, it's better to err on the side of precaution. Yeah. Yep. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing all yeah, that. Of course. I think it's really super important. Um, I do have my next guest coming on right now. Yeah. So we're going to say bye, Morgan. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes. And, stay uh, healthy. We should do this stay more safe. often. More. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So good to see you, Viviana. Uh, you too. Yeah. You take care. Okay. You too. Bye. 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 So everyone else stay on. Um, I don't, I've been hearing that the connection wasn't good. So I don't know if it's your connection, Morgan's connection, my connection, but, um, I had, um, I'm going to call some people, someone else to see if they want to join me. So reach out to me if you want to join me on the call. I see Karen Marie flute. 
I've never met you, but I see you online all the time. Um, I just want to go over some uh, some more tips and things to do while we're in quarantine to to sort to stay healthy, um, or things that you've been up to, new things, how you've pivoted your career. You know, I definitely have had to completely transform the way I, I did my life. Um, and Alice, if you can send me another message, because I need to be able to link you in. Um, I, my three things, I, I conduct my flute choir, and I also teach at UC, uh, University of California, Santa Cruz. And I also tour around playing concerts around the world and teaching master classes. So the performing part is out and everything has, I've, uh, I've lost all my contracts through September. I still have some contracts September how everything evolves but my teaching I've had to move all online which has been quite fun actually and my flute choir I've also moved online so it's just been uh, really interesting and fun to try out these new new things new modes mo new uh, new ways of being so I'm gonna try to see if I can add Miss Alice K. Dade here and have a little chat with her to see what's going on in her neighborhood. Welcome, Alice. Hi. <laughs> this is Petunia, everybody. Oh, Say hi, Petunia. Oh, she's she's a little camera shy. Oh, hi. P -toon. I call her P-Toon. P-Toon. Of course you do. <laughs> she's so, okay, now I'm going to let her have her liberty. <laughs> yeah, I know. mine's around here too, but we'll probably scratch me. I <laughs> saw your oh poor thing. So thank you, Morgan, for all those tips. That was really good to hear. And I, I love that she said that about hot liquids, because I've been drinking hot liquids and I didn't know like I wonder if this is good to do or not, you know, because you're I'm like analyzing everything I'm doing. Um so now I'm I'm drinking You sound uh, a little congested yourself. <laughs> Do I? No, that's allergies. <laughs> 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 it's allergies, but just just to be careful, I am staying home. Just like Morgan said, it's allergies. I'm going to get tested. I feel fine, but I'm going to get tested, and I'm staying home. <laughs> that's the Nicholas plan. Flute. Nicholas Flute says hello, Professor Dave. Hi, Nicholas Flute. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> So tell us, where are you and what have you been doing that's been different in your life since the quarantine? I am in, hold on, Missouri. Ah. <laughs> that's backwards on here, but I'm in Missouri. I am in Columbia, Missouri. Uh, um, uh -huh. So things have changed as in I'm teaching all my university students online. Um, so... I see them all, which is great, and I see my, my colleagues. We have all of our faculty meetings online. It's, uh, yeah, right now is spring break, which, you know, it's a little strange when you're in uh, quarantine. It's a different kind of spring break, you know? Uh-huh, it's a different kind of spring break. But um, so that's changed. And actually, you know, my flutes, my flute's in my case, guys. I, I'm i taking a little break because I don't... Oh, really? I'm not feeling it right now. Oh. And I think that's okay. Like, the first three days we were in quarantine, I felt like, yes, all right, I'm going to conquer all my things. And yeah, then yeah. I, um, I don't know, I watched the news a lot, and I just don't... Not feeling it. So, actually, how I... I just, I want to do service. So if I'm teaching, I feel helpful. I'm writing an article for Chicago Pipeline. That's somewhat helpful. Um, oh, talking to oh, you. Oh, will you write one oh. for the Blue View too? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. <laughs> service. And by the way, as you can see, there are all these boxes behind me. We just moved like a week and a half ago into another temporary rental. We're waiting to move into a house. So... This is, it's a weird time, but hey, we have a place to be and we have our cats and ourselves, my, myself and my husband who's upstairs. So we consider ourselves lucky, but yeah, it's, it's different, 
But um, I keep waiting for an artistic reaction to this, and my reaction is I just want to help, you know? So I'm just helping however I can. So if anyone wants to, you know, has a question or wants to see me or something, just, like, email me, and, you know, it just... Yeah, you know what I've been, I've been doing a lot. You're of, doing Viviana. I've just been doing a lot of uh, video calls because just to connect, you know, like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But I, you know, yeah. I was saying I had mentioned that I, I took a dance class. I'm taking all these online classes because all my friends are offering them. Wow. I a belly dance class. I took wow. a meditation class. I took a Pilates class. Um, Whoa. Web, web design and video editing. That is very cool. I've been watching a lot of stand-up comedy. There's a lot yeah. of good, like, comics. Hi, Tyler. Tyler just said hi. He's my former hi, student. Oh, <laughs> cute. But anyway, um, yeah, there. you know what? There are a lot of artists and performing artists who are, they've had to totally change their algorithm, and yeah. Yeah. I want to support them. Yeah. Because, you know... We, we got to be able to go to the curbside grocery and pick up groceries when we need. So we got to support each other in this time. You know, yeah. that's a big one. Yeah. So my, actually my teacher from Second City, um, his name is Dan Telfer. He's a stand-up comic. If you don't know him, look him up. He's hilarious. Ah, yes, and yes, he just had a live show over the weekend and he just released a new album and, you know, like everyone's just doing what they can. So yeah. we got our support. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And drink tea. And drink, drink tea. Or drink hot liquids, because some people are coffee drinkers. I'm more of a tea drinker. <laughs> uh, no, I'm a big tea drinker. Sometimes I'm always on and off with coffee, but I find that it just dries me out, and that's like a no-no right now. So I'm sticking to tea. The hot fluids is the way to go. And also yeah. chocolate, because I need it. <laughs> Of course, yes, yes, and cats, and lots and of And cats. cats! Well, we have three cats, so we, we have many cats. We need them. Well, I, I, we lost a cat. Oh, I have one cat here, actually. Let me see if I can pivot here. Yeah, where is your cat? Right there. Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> you have so many names for your cats. What are your, What is your cat's name? My current name for her is Squeak, because she's always squeaking. Squeak. 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 It's a squeaker. Hi, Squeak. I call Petunia P Tunes, Tune, Tuneberry, and yeah, that's about it. That's it. Tuneberry. That's her name. Tuneberry. Yeah. Also, oh. tunable because that's how I, that's the tuning app that I use. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. Well, any other yeah. tips? Uh, you have one minute before my next guest. Anything else? A parting thoughts. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> of course. Um, so I would say I'm keeping a journal right now. That's a good thing to do. Yes. And I'm yeah. keeping part of it. I write down what I'm grateful for every day. That's so good. That really helps. And actually, that's an inspiration from you, Viviana, because <laughs> we made those notebooks of Flutes by the Sea. and. Yeah. Yeah. I um I just remembered like wow I I should really fill that because I keep all these journals like for practicing so yeah. I'm just writing down my thoughts every day and that has been really helpful because we got to we got to support each other and we have to keep positive because I really believe that if you stay positive even throughout this kind of time period which is scary and you know it's just it's not good but, yeah. um, and I, you know, then I remembered I also kept a journal during 9 11. Oh, so, okay. um, and that was helpful. So I'm just, I'm trying to keep laughing and keep writing and help my friends and talk to friends as much as possible, family and yeah. cats. Yeah. yeah. Cats. 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 Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks for Bye. having me, nice Viviana. Good to see you. Yeah. Let's talk soon. All right. Right. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Uh, no. Okay. So let me see my next guest. I saw her up here. 
I need to make, I, you know, it's my first time to use this, so I don't know how to bring on people yet, but here we go. Let's see if I can, uh, here we go. This is my next guest, and she's coming in from Texas. This is Dr. Terry Sanchez, and I first, I don't remember when I first met you. Oh, you were in a competition that I judged, and... I thought you you were outstanding. Your playing was just beautiful. So I'm just waiting for you to come on. I pressed the right button. I think here we are. We're connecting. <gasps> Hi, yeah, Viviana. How are you? So <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. Hi, Terry. Thanks. This is such so a was... cool thing that you're doing, talking to everybody about what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So I just told everybody how I first. Whoops, that was my cat. <laughs> Uh, how I first met you and that I just fell in love with your playing and you are now teaching you teach at University of Texas Arlington yeah and I just wanted to ask you you know how you're doing with this whole situation and how what creative things you can offer as words of wisdom sure um so just like you. I've had to switch all my teaching online. And that's an ongoing adventure. I'm not super tech savvy, um, but my students and I are figuring it out together. And I've been finding new opportunities in every lesson, as I'm sure you have, because there's something about the one on one when we're using our technology that in a way I think can be even more productive if we look at it that way. So that's been kind of fun. And Nicholas also Nicholas, oh, flute ahead, says, yeah. Nicholas Flute says, oh my God, I love your epic flute warm-up. Oh, I'm so glad, Nicholas. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with warm-ups partially because I was so bad at skipping them when I was a kid. And now I realize, oh, they're so important. So yeah, in terms of creative projects, um, I'm, again, obsessed with practicing. And I think we all have this really unique opportunity right now because we are at home and all of that yeah. busy, stressed out, full of excuses mentality, we kind of can't do that anymore. So it's very inspiring that you were doing Pilates classes and learning about video editing. And I think if we can all kind of have a wake up call and start to look at how do we spend our time? Are we spending our time in ways that are meaningful to us? I think this could be kind of an exciting time. It's serious, it's scary, but it's also full of opportunity for sure. I yes crisis equals opportunity it's uh and so i'm always even if things are horrible there's always a silver lining there's always an open window that we're not looking at that we have to find and so i love that you just said that yeah yes yeah one of my favorite books of all time is called the art of possibility and one of my favorite quotes from the book is draw a different frame around the same set of circumstances and new paths come into view so we are just standing at the doorway of opportunity and i can't wait to see all the things that everybody's doing well, I've seen so much online already. I mean, yeah. uh, create uh, concerts from balconies in France, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> I mean, all sorts of um, cool webinars happening now. I mean, now yes. we all have the time so that I'm diving into all of that, you know, and yes. loving it. Yeah. And I really love what your first guest said, that it's exciting. And myself, I'm the same. I, I want to jump into so many things, but we also have to pay attention to self-care and not just get overwhelmed in a brand new way now. So it's always about finding that balance for sure. Yep. Yeah. Now, Viviana, I, I have a piccolo here. Yes. And I don't know if you wanted a little performance or if you just I wanted absolutely, to talk. Absolutely. So this is just for My fun. And um, as I mentioned, let me see if I can scoot this over here. As I mentioned, this is a bit of a wake up call for, oop, there went my wake up call um, for all of us. And I just picked up this piece a couple days ago. So fun. Oh, yeah, 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 wake yeah, yeah, up yeah. for this is good. alarm clock. Yeah. I don't know if you can yeah. see it here. So I'll, this is very short. If you don't mind, I'll just go ahead. Yeah. Yeah.
just oh thought that God. would be fun. Just have a little wake up call for all of us. That was beautiful. That was fab perfect. Absolutely perfect. We got tons oh, of cool comments great. on that too. The, great. Tell us the name of the composer. Was one of the oh comments. gosh, and I'm just gonna butcher his name. It's such a cool piece. Uh, Tillman Denhard, I think. Yeah, yes. no, yeah. I think it's such a creative thing that he did. And that's one thing that we're all gonna have to look at as flutists, musicians. We're gonna need some interesting accompaniment options, <laughs> right? And I love what you did with your flute choir. That was so exciting with the collaboration online. I'm sure everybody yeah. would love to hear a little bit more about that. That was so great. Oh, you know, my flute choir was all of a sudden, we had no rehearsals. We're still kind of wondering if we're gonna keep going with the season or not. And right. one, we're all in limbo, but I didn't want them to stop practicing. So I just said, I sent them a click track <clears throat> and I said, okay, just play along with here, uh, with the click track and then listen to, uh, over uh, earphone and then record, video record yourself. And they sent all their submissions uh, through Google Drive into my Google Drive. And then I edited everything in Final Cut Pro. So that's how so, that happened. It was cool. <laughs> and I actually have 30 kids and only 10 of them, per no, 11 participated. So oh, yeah, I'm yeah. going to get on them this weekend. They're going to have to participate in more of them on the next right. one. So. <laughs> right. Well, I'm meeting with my flute choir tonight and I can't wait to see what we can come up with together. Yes. Yeah, yes. and I thought if I could just mention really quickly, I am going to be putting out more and more YouTube videos during this sort of epic flute spring break that we're all getting to <laughs> participate yeah. in. Yeah. If anybody hasn't tried my epic warm up, there's a free PDF download if you just go to my Terry Sanchez YouTube channel. So I hope more people will try the stuff that I'm putting out there. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you also just did a video. Um, double tonguing video about days ago. Double tonguing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to be doing little tips here and there. Um, just like your last guest. I just want to help. I want to be of service during this time where we're all at home and, and looking at new ways to fill our time and just connect with our potential. Exactly. Exactly. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's excellent. Yeah. Well, all right. Thanks so much for having me, Viviana. This was super fun. Yeah, no, thank you. It was awesome to have you. Thanks for playing. It was a perfect piece. We all oh, loved it. Good, so, good, good. I'm so glad. Yeah. Yeah. Good. And I don't even know how to end the call. Maybe you can do it for me. Oh, you know, I don't know either because everyone else is just <laughs> end this themselves. Be here. And the, you <laughs> you do, do it I because if I, if I end, I end the whole thing. And I have one more okay. guest. Let's see. I have no earthly idea. You might be stuck with me. <laughs> oh, somebody says uh, Dr. Sanchez featured Claire Johnson more. Actually, I do have more footage of Claire, and I can post that very, very soon. She is so awesome. Yeah. yeah cool. Alex, Viviana, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> I think I'm just going to X out, and then I'll tune in yeah. after. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right. So I had one more person that I'd love to speak with, um, but... I haven't seen you yet online and I'm wondering if she even is online. So I wonder if somebody else might want to join me and tell me a little bit about um, what, what you've been doing during this, our quarantine times. Hello from Uzbekistan, Abdullah, are you still there? Aziz, 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 hi, hi. <laughs> I don't know if you're still there. Um, Let's see. I don't see Gloria. Gloria, please come forward. Oh, there you are. There you are. I see you. I see you. Okay, let's see. Go live with Gloria. I thought we'd change it up a bit and um, invite a violinist and see what's going on in the violin world. Can you see me, Viviana? <laughs> I can see you and I can hear you. Gloria oh, cool. Justin. This is somebody I, we grew up in the Houston Youth Symphony Orchestra together. She was yeah. our fearless uh, leader, the concert mistress. <laughs> and Gloria has played in the Philadelphia Orchestra, the New York Philharmonic, and the San Francisco, no, sorry, San Francisco Symphony. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and she lives here in San Francisco, and I just wanted, wondered if you could uh, share what life has been like in quarantine for you. What have you been doing? Well, um, my life actually day to day hasn't changed that much because I've kind of been living in my own bubble anyway for a few years. Um, 
transitioning from being more of a performer to being to working on composing and creative projects. Right. Um, but it is kind of ironic because I was just in the process of reaching out again to play with people in the community again when uh, kind right. of everything crashed in. Right. Um, so I'm back to doing all my millions of projects here at home. Yeah. And since someone showed you their cat, I'm going to show you my plant. Ah, I have a lot of I have a lot of plants. <laughs> ah. but here's a one. Oh, that's We're good. Beautiful. And do you do you name your plants? I have a student who names her plants. These are like I don't know if you can see those. Wow. Yes, ice plant. No. What? What? Uh, I, what is it? Um, what's the name of them? They're African violets. Oh. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. actually, some of them are miniatures. Anyway. Um, I'm a bit of a plant freak, but the plants help keep me sane. Actually, it's, it's kind of like a meditative practice for me, like caring for plants. Uh -huh. um, and I, you know, I don't give them pet names, but I do learn their Latin names, uh -huh. I learn their scientific names and, and like uh -huh. where they come from and like what kind of um, ecosystem they live in and things like that. So that <laughs> um, helps me know how to take care of them. Well, uh, Alice, who was one of my previous guests, um, she says she, her cat is named after a plant, Petunia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't named my plants after any animals, but, you know. <laughs> but I think she, that, also, know, she also asks if you would write a flute piece for us. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd like a, to write a piece for us to play together. Yes. And, yeah, one yes. of the things that canceled was, of course, um, the, con the house concert you and I were going to do together. Right. And right. Um, I've had other house concerts cancel and, you know, transitioning to teaching online as well. Um, I need to get some more students. I love to attract more students. So um, I'm in the process of accelerating the work I was already starting on, you know, like reaching out online more. Right. And right. learning, you know, learning the ropes of live streaming. And my husband's a professional photographer. So we have all the equipment we need to do it. It's just kind of a matter of, well, one thing is trying to overcome perfectionism because um, perfectionism can definitely hold one back. It holds me back sometimes from sharing because, oh, it's not ready yet. Or it's, you know, oh, there was some little teeny mistake and that nobody else is ever even going to hear, but it bothers me. And then it, um, so yeah, I'm working on that to, uh -huh. you know, like yesterday I, you know, shot a video um, that I'm going to contribute to Yo-Yo Ma's uh, Songs of Comfort project, which I think is really awesome. And I'm really grateful to him actually for kind of taking the lead, you know, like being a spiritual leader for musicians in a way at this time, mm -hmm. because um, we need to feel like we're, we're contributing to the community of people and um, contributing to the joy and contributing to a feeling of calming. <laughs> I mean, yeah. So yeah, no, we definitely need more contributors of calming, of joy, focusing more on the positive. I mean, sure, this is a very uh, severe yeah. situation, but um, I'm trying to always just stare into the light and see what what is it that's positive that uh, can be contributed, that it can be worked on, that can be created, you know, so absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then I can calm myself down too with, with my practice of music, you know, just um, retreating to that place of, of grounding in, in making your sound and um, connecting that vibration in a yeah. positive way. I mean, you could also use it to express your anxiety too and play like all kinds of crazy stuff. And that could be therapeutic. Um, I think that would be great. You know, sometimes I do that too, but. Do you have your violin nearby? Do you want to play something? Um, I have one of my violas. Okay. Yeah, I actually, you know, I've been experimenting with viola in recent years and I've accumulated different instruments. And the one, uh, I'm just gonna do a little improvisation actually. Okay, great. And I've found that maybe the lower tones also go across better on iPhone microphones and computer microphones. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's, it's um, an octave lower than a regular violin. 
Wow. And it's the size of a viola. Okay, great. Well, Alice is asking, do you do a lot of public speaking? I do a lot of it. Uh, no. <laughs> Why? Does she think I should? Um, I'd like to start expressing myself more in public, actually. Yeah. I, I feel like I've been kind of like a little dragon hoarding away my stuff. And so my mission right now is um, sharing more of my creations and, you know, things I've been learning about over the years. Right. So, right. yeah, I'm going to just do a little improv. Awesome. Perfect. <laughs> lower than a violin yeah yeah and which makes it lower than a regular viola as well it's 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 um four notes i mean like usually the viola is and so this is a perfect fourth lower wow that's gorgeous <laughs> super yeah amazing yeah alice had mentioned that you're so articulate when you speak about your music that that's why she thought that you were a public speaker <laughs> Oh, well, you know, I have been trying, I've been actually practicing um, speaking to audiences at house concerts yeah. because I feel like it's a super way to connect with people. And I love playing house concerts. So I want to continue doing more of them and maybe do a house concert tour. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a great way to help people know how to listen to the music, set it, you know, kind of give them context and, um, let them in on the creative process if it's an original piece of Mayan or, right. you know, if it's a piece by Bach or some other composer, talk about history or kind of try to talk about it from a different angle even. Right. So, yeah, it's, I think it's a great way to um, help people learn how to listen um, and enjoy, enjoy the music more. Yeah, yeah. You should start a series of concerts, Alice says. So in really? a way, that's what he's doing. Yeah, that's what you're doing, though, you know? Well, I think I'm going to go through with, I'm, actually, I'm planning to go through April 5th is my usual first Sunday of the month house concert. Right. Um, so, and I haven't taken it off my calendar, and my plan is just to live stream it. So right, right, good. that's good. I was going to try to do that on uh, Facebook, um, live stream it. <laughs> yes. Someone here says, please come to Indonesia. 
Sure, but you can tune into my live stream. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah my Facebook page is Gloria Justin Music. So, yeah. all right. Uh, you can well, find me there. Thank you so much. And thanks so much for playing. That was so beautiful. Oh. And uh, unique and just very moving. It was perfect. Cool. Well, I want to write a piece for this instrument and the flute because I think yes. the lower instrument is complementary to the flute and love to play well, with I, you again. So, thank I you have so a much. Bass. Just keep in mind, I have a bass flute. So, Oh, <laughs> well, I have a piccolo violin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, we can go to town. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you so for much. inviting me. Yeah, absolutely. And everybody out there, remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and flute on. <laughs> All right. Take care, everybody. Bye.